are trying to take the world's method and do the Lord's work. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the work that you are about to come into a transition. Ignite, ignite, ignite. I'm 
you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We got down at the cross. You still, you still sit high. And you're looking low. Come on, put a praise in the room. Hey, that we worship. We worship. Adore you. Adore you. We declare. We declare. God, 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 God. We worship. We worship. Adore you. Adore you. Adore you. We declare. We declare. Nobody like you. 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 I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I look for the east. I look for the west. But still, couldn't find no one that can beat my savior. He died and he rose again. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. We love you. We love, we love you. We love you. Adore you. We love you. We love you. Adore you. Adore you. Nobody like 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 you. I look low, but still couldn't find nobody like my Savior, like my God. He is the King of Kings. He is my healer. He is my deliverer. He is my sustainer. Wherever I go, His hand is on me. Wherever my feet go. We give you glory. We give you praise. He's already in the room. Come on, Zion. Lift up your praise. Lift up your praise to the Father. Talk to him this morning. He want to hear from you. Come on, put a praise in the room. Nobody like you, Lord. We honor you and we love you. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your worship. Come on, lift up your worship right here. He's already in the room. He was here this morning. He was here before you got here. You ought to lift your hands right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Who we magnify your name, glorify your name, oh God, oh yeah, yeah. Who we magnify your name, glorify your name, oh God, oh yeah, yeah. Who we magnify your name, glorify, glorify your name, oh God, oh God, Woo. oh yeah, yeah, come on, we magnify your name, we magnify your name, glorify. Him. 
if you really came to lift him, if you really came to celebrate him, come on, put a praise in the room. Put a praise in the room. He's He's already here. He's already here. Come on, lift up your hands. Talk to the Savior. Talk to the Savior. He's in the room. 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 Hey. Come on, lift your hands up. Talk to him. Talk to him. Come on, open up your voice. He want to open. He want to hear from you. Come on, open up your heart, church. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Jesus, glory, don't stop. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be unto your name, God. What did you come into this service for? Come on, open up your mouth and give them glory. Hallelujah. It is time for our scripture and prayer. And today I will read for you Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmaments of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with sultry and harp. Praise him with cymbal and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbals. Praise him the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, let everything, let everything, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Now do what I just told you. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and praise your Father. Praise your Savior. Open up your mouth. Make some noise so that he hears you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come just to say thank you. Thank you because you've been good to us. Thank you because you woke us up this morning. Thank you because you allowed us to come into this sanctuary. Father, in the name of Jesus, now that we're here, oh God, we're asking, oh God, that you would dwell among us, oh God. Do whatever you want to do in this place today. We avail ourselves to you. We avail ourselves to you. We're available to you right now, oh God. Do whatever you need to do through us. Save, sanctify, heal, Set free and deliver, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, now that we've entered into this place, God, we stand before you with our hands lifted up, uh, with a praise on our lips, oh God, with a heart of thanksgiving, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we stand before you with repentance on our hearts, oh God. Whatever we did, oh God, that would hinder us uh, from coming in your presence, oh God. We repent before you. We're sorry, God. We're turning away, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, uh, we thank you right now for what you're about to do uh, in this place, oh God. Uh, we don't just want to come uh, to a Sunday service, uh, but this day, oh God, uh, we're asking uh, for a Holy Ghost tsunami uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, wreck us again, oh God, uh, with your Holy Ghost, Father. In the name of Jesus, uh, let us leave here. Rock under your anointed God. In the name of Jesus, uh, don't let us leave out of here. The way we came, oh God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask right now that you would anoint the man of God from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. That preaching 
would be easy today, oh God. Thank you for a rhema word. Thank you for the word that shall go forth. In the name of Jesus, that that word will not fall on stony ground, but it will do not, God, that very thing that you set out for it to do. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we need you today. We need you today. We need you today. Somebody don't know which way to go today, but now that they're here, oh God, do it for them, Jesus. Do it for them, Jesus. Do it for them, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. We don't want our coming to be in vain. And if you have your way, God, it's all right with us, oh God. It's all right with us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The name that's above all other names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that saves. The name that heals. The name that sets free. The name that covers. The name that washes. The name that does whatever we need to know. It's the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And for that, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. And amen. And it is so.
you the offering confession. Hallelujah. Before I give you the offering confession, I just need to tell you a few things about what today is. Uh, uh, today is our pastor's love offering. Now y'all got to do better than that. Today is our pastor love offering. Today is our pastor's love offering. This is the man that lays before God week after week, Wednesday before Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. He's feeding other houses. So now it's time to love on our pastor. And guess what? And Bishop, if you're going to rebuke me, can we go in the office and do it? Don't do me in front of everybody. But see, when you're in a relationship, it's good for people to say, I love you. Yeah, let me get the butterflies. You know, <laughs> let me get the cute giggle. But it just does something to my shondo when you show me that you love me. There's a difference in what you tell me and what you show me because action speaks louder than hallelujah. So it's offering time. So we do want you to make sure that you give our love offering to our pastor. Make sure that you write it on the uh, envelope so that it goes directly to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's offering time. Come on, stand to your feet with us so that we can do our offering confession. Hallelujah. Is anybody just excited to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. Our offering confession. As we give today's tithes, offerings, and seeds, we're believing God for jobs, and better jobs, raises, and bonuses, benefits, businesses, prosperity, sales and commission, settlements, estates, and inheritances, interest, and income, rebates, and returns, checks, checks, Checks in the mail. Better yet, better yet, checks in my hand. Gifts and surprises. Cash apps, Zales, PayPal, and all electronic ways to transfer money. Finding money. Bills paid off. Debts demolished. Royalties received, money paid back, loans paid off. I shall lend and not borrow. I shall prosper and be in health. I shall give and be blessed. It's offering time and I will praise the Lord. I will give cheerfully in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Grace and peace, family. Praise the Lord, everybody. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Do me a favor, clap your hands all over the building if you love Jesus. You can do better than that if he woke you up this morning. If he started you on your way, you ought to put some on your lips. Listen, I'm standing here for the evangelism ministry. We got some great and exciting news that's getting ready to take place. Somebody shout souls. Uh, somebody shout souls. Somebody shout souls. Listen, we're taking the city. And ladies and gentlemen, we need your help. I'm so grateful to be part of a church that understands that evangelism is key. Do me a favor, celebrate our bishop, our leader. For ha Come on, we can do better than that. Because there's some pastors, some bishops not even trying to get in the streets. But we have a man of God who said we're going to take the city. Come on, clap your hands for that. So listen, we need your help every Saturday, every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We will be praying and passing out pluggers. I need you to come out with me. So we're going to take the corners from 10 to 12 o'clock. Some of you ministries have already been informed. So please, please come out and hang out with us. And we're going to have a great time in the Lord now. You do know we can have church outside of church, right? I said you do know we can have church outside of the church. 
Look at somebody and say, neighbor, we can have church on a corner because when I think about the goodness and what he's done for me, I can't do nothing but tell us all he's been there good. Y'all ain't come to have church. Well, let somebody know he's been good. So 10 a.m. every Saturday, we're going to be on a corner and praying and passing out pluggers. God bless you.
it's gonna work out for your good. It's a love here. It's gonna work out for your good. Yeah. He's working it out for your good. He's working it out. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. All you gotta He's do is trust him. Cause he will never leave you. And it's for your good. This son. He's working it out for your good. He's working it out. Every sickness. Every tribulation, every trial, every test, it's working for you, it's working for you, it's working for you, it's working for you. Yes. Come on, lift your voice. It's working for you. All you gotta do is believe him. Yes, you do. Put your faith in Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus. Put He's your faith in him. And it's fun. Come on, Sopranos. He's working it out for you. Singing like you mean it that he is. He is. He's working in a fire good. And it's fire good. Come on, all over the building, help me declare it. So he's working in a fire. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All you gotta do is put your faith in Jesus. He'll never leave you. He's working it out. All you gotta do is try him for yourself. And you don't need nobody He's else. Come on, you gotta out. believe it. It's working for your good. As long as If you believe it, I need you to open up your mouth and declare that all things work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Come on, open up your mouth in here and give God a Shabbat that tells him that I believe you, Father, in spite of the situation, in spite of the circumstance, in spite of what I see. I have the faith that trusts you. I have the faith that believes you. Come on, give God praise in here. Somebody ought to open your mouth and just pat yourself on the chest and declare he's working it out. Somebody still ain't called it out. I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know what the enemy might be throwing your way, but just help yourself believe he's working. Oh, come on here. He's He's working it out. Now, once you've convinced yourself, you need to find about three other people and say, hey, don't you worry about it. Don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel. He's working. Hey, 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 hey. Brother Stewart.
and he's working it. Now if you believe it, throw your head back and let me hear you. Give him a shout like you know. Woo! Woo! Hi! Uh-oh. Don't you worry another day. Don't you say you're going to quit no more. Don't you wave the white flag no more. He's working it out. The doctor's report. He's working it out. That wayward child. He's working it out. That crazy situation. He's working it out. All things still work together. (laughs) Hey, glory, 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 glory. Jesus, we serve a God who's able to work it out in my in my favor. He's working. I'm trying to move on, but I I hear a shout in here. I I guess somebody who knows God's getting ready to do it. Stretch them hands up and let me hear you shout like you know God is watching it. How? How? Oh, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Grace and peace be unto you. From God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Cross just to say him. Oh, come on. Can we do it one time? He
we thank you for another Holy Communion Sunday. We thank you for your death, your burial, and your resurrection. We thank you because the fact that you died means that we can live. And the fact that you live means we can live again. So now, Father, we pray that you would forgive us of every sin we've committed, known and unknown, and every word, thought, or deed. Pray that you'd wash us with your blood and purify us for thine own glory. Help us to be the people of God you're calling for us to be. Sanctify this wafer. Sanctify this wine. That God, if there be any sick amongst us, you would heal. If there be any broken, you would mend. If there be any lost, that they'll be found through the communion with your death, your burial, and your resurrection. For this we give you praise and we call it done. In the mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. All those in agreement said, Amen. In your hand, you have the wafer that represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you have not been served, please lift your hands. They're coming around to serve you. If you have not been served, wave them high so we can see you. Y'all need to do this. Praise him, Elder. It's all right. Praise him, Elder. See, some of y'all shot over houses and cars, but others of us shot over the blood. Because we know what can wash away my sin. Nothing but the blood. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. like this church <laughs> in your hand is your wafer it represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his 39 stripes he called us here he said take and eat as often as you do it do it in remembrance of me Here at New Zion Temple, we take the blood or the wine that represents the blood and we lift it above our head. The Bible says there was a decree that went out and God told Moses to tell Pharaoh that I'm going to kill the firstborn sons in Egypt. Moses said, well, what shall the children of Israel do in Goshen? He said, tell them to kill the lamb, to take the blood from the lamb and to put it on the doorposts. And when the death angel sees the blood, he's going to have to pass over. Somebody ought to lift this wine above your head and just declare, I'm under blood. 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 I'm under bl
I'm under blood. Death can't find me because I'm under blood. The corona can't find me because I'm under blood. Sickness can't find me because I'm under blood. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Somebody ought to just thank God that you're under blood. You got his blood on you. The powerful blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I like first Sundays at New Zion Temple. Oh, come on, wave your hand and holler. I'm under blood. Oh, yeah. He said, take and drink. As often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. I like this church. We shout over blood over here. We praise him over blood over here. The blood. The blood. I got blood on me. I got blood on me. I got blood on me. Oh, come on, New Zealand Timber. I need you to find about three people and tell them, don't worry about me. Because I got blood on me. Hallelujah.
unlocking your presence all the easier and now father we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you oh God would forgive us of every sin we've committed known and unknown in every word thought or deed wash us with your blood purify us for thine own glory help us to be the representatives of heaven that you're calling for and now Lord as I stand to declare your word again I pray, oh God, that you would allow the anointing to preach to be upon me. Preach me, Jesus. Preach me until a soul that's on its way to hell changes directions. And Lord, let us lead them into heaven. Preach me, Jesus. Until the anointing is so strong in here that yokes are destroyed and burdens are removed. Preach me, Jesus. Until a revival of fire takes place in somebody's soul. Lord, let the anointing to preach be heavy upon me. And I'll thank you for it. Hallelujah. And we'll call it done in the mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. All those in agreement said, amen. We're going to be in Matthew, the sixth chapter, verse 33. I want to say it's so good to see. Minister Trees and her daughter back there. Hey, God bless you. So good to see Pastor Mike Hunt and his lovely wife, Lady Hunt, has come to be with us and their goddaughter. 
God bless you. Amen. We are praying for Elder Elect Letitia Morris. Amen. As her father, Pastor Harris, has gone on to be with the Lord, and the funeral is going to be July 24th. And uh, we're praying for them right here in Chicago. And we're praying for them um, during this time and her lovely mother. Amen. And so we're believing God. We, we stand with one another. Hallelujah. We, I don't want you to stand with me in my joys if you can't stand with me in my sorrows. Oh, I don't have no church here. You got to stand with me through the good, the bad, and the indifferent. Now tell me about myself in the back, but you stand with me in the public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I don't, don't you know? Leave me now. Leave me now. Amen. If you can't stand with me through it all. Uh, we're going to be in Matthew chapter 6. We're going to try our best to finish uh, this series on kingdom passions. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Let's read it together when we found it. Ready? One, two, three. Let's read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things shall be added unto you. I want to continue where we've started talking about kingdom passions. Kingdom passions. You can have your seat. Thank God for our beautiful first lady. My Lord. Amen. You've been good to me. Hmm? Amen. My, 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 my sister is here. My beautiful sister. I miss you. She over there cutting up. That's how. Amen. Can y'all thank God for my sister? Amen. God is good. Amen. And so we've been talking about kingdom passions and one of the things, and so I'm going to just try to do a uh, recap and get right to where I want to be today so that we can finish and still have us out of here by 2.10. Can we do it? I think we can because a lot of you have to eat before 8 o'clock because we're still fasting. Ooh, I smell conviction. Come on. <laughs> Come on, look at somebody and say, we're still fasting. We're still fasting. Amen. We shouldn't be eating after eight. No way. We're still fasting. Amen. Thank God for our mother's mother. Reed, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. Mother Alice. Hey, let me quit calling names right? get in trouble. Amen. And so we've been talking about kingdom passions. And one of the things uh, that we have pinpointed on is the fact that we have to be careful of our personal passions. Because our personal passions are tainted. Uh, the Bible says in Jeremiah that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. So you have to be careful leaning on your personal desires or leaning on your personal passions. Because one day you may feel like it and the next day you may not feel like it. One day you may say, I, I, I want to be here, and the next day you don't want to be here. You cannot lean on what you feel. You can only lean on what you know. And how many people can I get to say amen to the fact that uh, sometimes what you know and what you feel are not always in agreement? Come on, I, 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 I know, I know, I know that I need to love my enemies, but I don't feel like it. Come on, it's not in my passions, it's not in my heart. So I often tell people, you cannot follow your passions. You cannot follow what you feel, because if you've been living long enough, you'll know that sometimes your passions run out. Uh, you may start a business, and when you start a business, you'll work that business, and you feel like, I know I'm supposed to do this. I know this is what the Lord called me to do. And then you hit a bad day where the money is not meeting bills, and you can't do the things that you need to do, and you get discouraged. And when you get discouraged, you say to yourself, I don't feel like doing this anymore because the money is not meeting the need or or you could be in a place where business is very successful but you're burnt out because you feel like you're doing it all by yourself 
And so now that I'm doing it all by myself, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. Has anybody ever got tired of doing a God thing? Oh, come on here. Amen. It was a God thing. It's a calling. It's where the Lord wants you to be. Uh, but every now and again, you get tired. You get to the point where I just can't do it anymore. I, I just want to run away and hide. I, I'm tired of people. I'm tired of ministry. I'm tired of doing the things that I'm supposed to do. I'm tired of being the bigger person. I'm tired of reaching for what's better. I'm, I'm just tired. And you get to that point where you're just tired. But just because you're tired, or just because you don't feel like doing it anymore it doesn't mean you're supposed to stop so that's why you cannot lean on how you feel you got to lean on what you know and what keeps me going is not my emotions what keeps me going is my mind that's why Paul said let this mind be in you as it was also in Christ Jesus Paul even says that when you get to the point where you don't know what to do you don't know how you're going to do it you don't know which way you're going to go and your mind is playing tricks on you Paul says let me tell you how to think think on these things whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are of a good report he says you got to think on these things so that you can bring your mind back your bible says casting down every imagination watch this that exalted itself against the knowledge of god you got to cast down imaginations that exalt itself against what you know because sometimes your mind and your emotions will play tricks on you about what you know. Uh, the enemy will make you think that God ain't for you when you know if God be for me, who can be against me? And that's why I, I got to really pray for you people that love to have pity parties. Some of you, you love a good pity party. You, you love a good dark room by yourself where you down yourself and you pull yourself down. You love to mope. Some of you all, you like depression. You, you've been there so long. You ain't got to say amen. You like being there. Hallelujah. But you got to know how to fight that thing off. You got to know how to tell that devil is a liar i'll never forget the enemy playing amen on my mind the other day glory to god ryan had texted me amen and he texted me and didn't know i needed to hear what he said to me he had encouraged me in the season amen where people would think you ought not be discouraged everything is seemingly going the way you want it to go hallelujah you you should be happy you should be joyful you should be running for jesus but every now and again that enemy like to play with your mind and Ryan texts me right in the nick of time but when he texts me I was fighting with myself and I said the devil is a liar I'm not getting ready to let the enemy make me focus on the evil I'm getting ready to focus on the good I'm not going to let the devil make me focus on those who's against me I'm getting ready to focus on those who are for me I'm not going to let the enemy lift up a standard of ungodliness against me the devil is a liar I had to get myself up and I had to start singing to myself can't no body do me like Jesus uh, you come on here uh, see I don't just sing that stuff here I have to walk around my house and remind myself can't nobody good God here do me like Jesus and I had to encourage myself in the Lord and cast down those imaginations that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God you cannot trust your feelings you cannot trust your passions you can only trust the knowledge that you have in God so therefore a hallelujah as we begin to get in our word today he says so, so, so that your passions don't jack you up you've got to posture your passions in a seek towards the Lord you got to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you you you've got to put God first my brothers and sisters if you're going to overcome mental battles if you're going to overcome relational battles if you're going to overcome business battles if you're going to overcome church drama you've got to posture your seek unto God and you've got to seek ye first 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 First, the kingdom.
kingdom of God and his righteousness. We, we often have a habit of putting God last. When God says, if you want to be successful, you've got to put me first. We, we, we like to put God's second sister me a coat. Hallelujah. But God says, that ain't how I work. God says, God says, I, I need to be first. As a matter of fact, God says, I'm a jealous God. He says, and I'll have no other gods before me. God says, not only will I not take the last position, I won't even take position number two. He says, the only position that I'm going to take in your life is number one. He says, if you want me to bless you, I better be number one. If you want me to increase you I better be number one and can I tell you the sad part about church is that a lot of us are shouting but God show ain't number one a lot of us are running around the church but God show ain't number one and for some of us he ain't even number five for many of us God is about number seven or number eight or number ten or number fifty on our list for some of us patron is number one for some of us that boo is number one for some of us that job is number one for some of us your family is number one and God says the reason you don't have no peace is because you put everything else before me but God says if you want success in your life you got to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his and all these things will be added watch, watch, watch what he says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Not your righteousness. And, oh, come on, come on, talk back to me, church. Come on, seek ye first the kingdom of God and, which means you got to do what's right to God. That was right to you. Oh, Oh, come on here. Because there's a whole lot that sounds right to me. It, oh, come on. It sounds right to me. It, it sound, now, now, to me, this is right. But our Bible says there is a way that seemeth right to man. But the end thereof is death and destruction. What, what God is saying is my ways are not your ways. Nor my thoughts your thoughts. As high as the heavens are from the earth, so my ways are from your ways. So you can't seek your right because look where your righteousness has gotten you you've got to seek his righteousness and sometimes we don't always agree with the righteousness of God okay y'all gonna sit there and look at me real cute let me say it like this sometimes I don't always agree with the righteousness of God to me it's right that if you don't do right by me then I ain't gonna do right by you but to God that ain't his righteousness how to do you to God to me it's right that an eye for an eye and a truth for two but to God that ain't his righteousness hallelujah to God amen and a lot of us have a hard time doing things his way hallelujah but God says that's not how it works if you're going to do things according to the kingdom if you want me to add to you you got to do things my way good God here I, I might as well can I go there I went there this morning in India I might as well go there today amen a lot of us the reason we don't have no additions is because of everything we've sown between here and the additions hallelujah to God and we serve or we live in a world where we think we can do evil and still be reward blessings ah, okay I see you in here amen we think that we could do everybody wrong and God is still supposed to add to us the blessings of the kingdom it don't work like that God is not mocked and whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap hallelujah and what many of us have done we've sown discord but then God's still supposed to add blessings we've sown mess and think God's still supposed to add blessings we have sown confusion and think that God is still supposed to add blessings and God says I don't work like that he says there's some evilness you have sown that you are still do and can I tell you when God get to whipping your tail this is what my godmother taught me she said when God whip your tail ain't nothing nobody can do about it you can pray all day long but when God pull that belt off and start whipping your tail you can't do nothing but say yes 
once, Lord, and have mercy. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Uh, but you want to come to the altar and you want the preacher to lay hands on you and remove uh, the judgment of God. But it don't work like that. You got to go through your process uh, and you got to reap the foolishness. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's some things we can't do nothing about. We can cry all day. No, baby, you wasting your time. Get up. Get up. Stop all that tongue talking. You wasting your time. They reaping this. Oh, come on here. Hallelujah. The best thing you could do is say, have mercy, Lord. Oh, come on here. That's the best prayer you can pray. Oh, have mercy. That's all I can ask is oh, just have a little mercy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You might as well pray that now. You better pat yourself on the chest and say, Lord, I know there's some things I'm due, but have mercy. Come on. Just have a little mercy. Hallelujah. And next time, let me think twice before I get ready to get in some foolishness. So, Lord, don't let me go through this and not learn from it but have mercy oh come on I need somebody to go come on pray the prayer have mercy God I know there's some just do on this way to my door but all I ask is that father you would have mercy plot out my transgression that's what David prayed created me a clean heart and renewing me a right spirit David said I know I'm wrong purge me with his and I shall be made clean I shall come out of this whiter than snow have mercy seek ye first the kingdom of God and his Righteousness. I got to do it his way. I don't care what they told you on Facebook and all that other stuff. You have to do it God's way. So when we talk about seeking God, and I gave this to you. I'm not going to be here long. I want to get to these additions. Y'all ready for it? Ready? We, when you talk about seeking God, that is desiring God. It is to examine God. It is to go after God. It is to study God. Do y'all hear me? And in, in this, don't be offended by what I'm saying, but in this biblically ignorant generation, we have a culture that knows church, but we don't know God. We know church. We know click tracks. We know when they go to the one, it means that church getting ready to come in the room. But we don't know God. We got footwork, but we don't have lifestyle. We don't know God. You can hook a Mashanda, but you can't quote a scripture that's not known common to man. Because you don't know God. God you don't know God but when you seek ye first you're chasing after God I want to know God and what made Moses such a great man is he wanted to know God he said Lord I want to see your face I want to know you so much I want to see your face just let me see your face and God said Moses I know you want to know me but I can't let you see my face because no man could see my face and Live. But I tell you what I'll do, Moses. I'll hide you in the cleft of the rock. I'll put my hand on the rock and I'll pass by and I'll move my hand and I'll let you see my hinder parts. Because if I let you see my face, I'll have to kill you. And Moses said, I'll take your backside because I want to know you just that much. Lord, but we got a church. You want to have church? You don't want to know God. Hallelujah. You don't want to know God. God says if you seek ye first, if you study me, run after me as the deer panted after the water brook, so my soul longeth after thee, O oh God. God is looking for people who want to know him, not his hand. But his heart. 
You want the blessing. You want the wedding. You don't want the marriage. Oh, come on. Oh, we love weddings, baby. Everybody come to where you dress up, you get your dress and your gown, you get your ring, and everybody get to take pictures of you. Hallelujah. But when the night is over, you don't want the marriage. How do you leave the marriage as soon as one thing go wrong? Because you were never after a marriage. You were after a celebration. You wanted festivities. And that's how we are in this generation. We want church. We don't want Christendom. But seek ye first, I'm out of my time, seek ye first the kingdom of God and doing what is right unto him. Which brings us to a place where we're saying to the Lord, Lord, not my will. Come on here. But thine will be done uh, you, 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 you get to the point and you ask yourself what is the will of God concerning this that's when you've matured in your Christian walk when you're asking God Lord what is your will concerning where I am what is your will concerning this decision what is your will concerning my love what is your will concerning my money what is your will concerning my relationships what is your will concerning my friendship see and, and, and I'm talking about this next Sunday we're getting ready to start next Sunday the series on kingdom worship see a lot of you think that kingdom worship starts with a oh no 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 kingdom worship starts with a sacrifice kill me Lord I ain't got time kill, kill me take 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 my life. My life is not my own. To you I belong. See, we, we, we want the emotion, but we don't want the real stuff. Where the real stuff starts in the heart. Where you're saying, not my will. Your will be done. What is the will of the Lord? What does the Lord want out of me? How can I please God the more? And what God says is, when you get to that point, when you get to the point where I'm so first in your life, when you get to the point where I'm so number one in your life, then all these things shall be added unto you. This word add in the Greek is addition. It is to provide. It is to produce. What the text suggests is when you put things in its priority and proper posture, then God says, I can trust you with the stuff I want to give you. For some of us, the reason God can't add to us is because we can't handle the additions. Oh, you want to be a millionaire, but God can't trust you with a millionaire uh, to be a millionaire. He can't trust you with a million dollars. Some of us, baby, we get a million dollars, we'll leave God now. We'll leave the church now. We don't want to have nothing to do with nobody. You uh, please don't give you 10 million. You'll become so grand, can't nobody tell you nothing. How do you come to church late? You wouldn't serve no more. You wouldn't pray like you used to. Uh, you'd come up in here and you would just have all of your ducks just out of order. Uh, some of your, your hearts are too jacked up. God can't trust you with ten dollars. Do you really think God's gonna trust you? Hallelujah. With a million? God has already trusted you when you got your taxes. You got seven thousand because you claim somebody else's kids and you got that money and you showed God how you ain't got the same man I know I'm talking right you showed God how much he can trust you but yet you in a hundred dollar line talk about I'm believing God for my sit down you showed God that your heart I ain't giving God all that. You couldn't give God 10% off of what you got now. Why in the world would God trust you with more? To give him 10% off of that. You're going to definitely say, I ain't giving the church all of this. That's why you ain't got nothing. Ooh. You say, okay, Bishop, your time is up. <laughs> God says he adds. Come on, somebody say he adds. He provides. He produces, my brothers and sisters, uh, but he adds, watch this now, this is what's good to me about it. God adds to the fullness of who he is to you and in you. Uh, what God is adding is not what you need, but what God is adding uh, will increase the other stuff that God has already given you. 
So the adding that God is giving you is not necessity, it's the extra. Oh God, my brothers and sisters, we must not forget that chapter 6 is a part of the sermon that started in chapter 5. It is the Sermon on the Mount. He already told us, amen, at the opening of chapter 5, uh, that we were already blessed. He already told us that we were already happy. That is what the word blessed means in the Beatitudes. He says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be satisfied blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account he says rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven for they also persecuted the prophets who were here before you he says you are already blessed he says you are already blessed he says you are already blessed let me get that in your spirit before we talk about the extra before we talk about the additions before we talk about what shall be added the first thing you got to know is that you're already blessed let me pull you out of your pity party let me pull you out of your low degree and let me help you and tell you that when you got Jesus on the inside you are already blessed if he never gives you nothing else he's already given you enough you are already blessed so the things he had is only extra oh somebody ought to help me preach and just look at somebody that says if he never does anything else oh come on here he's already blessed oh come on I need you to think about that I need you to get that in your spirit I need you to really understand that give me a little bit of Christian in my ear I need you to understand that that I'm already blessed I already got it oh come on I need that to really resound with you I need it to resonate in your heart that I'm already blessed that I'm already already good he said even when you're persecuted you're still blessed oh come on here even when you're going through you're still blessed see you waiting on the Rolls Royce you waiting on the Mercedes you waiting on the mansion away with you you don't know what blessed is you think being blessed is stuff when God says being blessed ain't stuff for the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow so if it can bring you sorrow then it's not a blessing oh come on here a car breaks down and when it breaks down it brings you sorrow a house you have to get the water and the plumbing fixed and when that stuff happens it brings you sorrow that's not a blessing that's an addition but to be blessed is a mindset blessed is the man who walketh not in the council of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of the sinner nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in that law I need you to find about five people tell them I'm already blessed if he don't do nothing else already blessed and he don't make another way I'm already blessed if I don't get the house I'm already blessed if I don't get the car I'm already blessed but God said if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness then all of these things shall be added. What are these things? These are the things that might bring you sorrow, but I'll add them to you to show you that my hand is on your life. If you don't mind the day, I need you to do me a favor. And look at your neighbor 
Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor in the face and tell a neighbor. I come by to tell you that I'm already blessed. But God is getting ready to give me some additions. Do you hear me today? I don't know what you need from God. But I stopped by to prophesy to you and to let you know that if you put God first, God told me to tell you I'm going to add to your life. I'm come by to tell you that you're in a season of a plus sign. Do you hear me? You're in a season where the Lord is getting ready to bless you with more than enough. Come on, look at the people. God says, just like you are right here in this space, he says you're blessed and the hand of the Lord is on your life. Can I tell you how blessed you are? You're so blessed that you got angels that are all around you. You can't see them angels, but you got angels that are fighting your battle. You got angels that are on your case. You got angels that are knocking the enemy away. You got angels that said, Corona, you can touch them, but you can't have them. You got angels that said, Cancer, you can touch them, but you can't kill them. You got angels working on your behalf. Do you hear me tonight? You're so blessed that everywhere you go, you got two twins. Stay right there, Aaron. Don't move nowhere. Look at the people. Thank you, sir. You got two twins that are fighting your case. Do you hear me? Do you want to know who the two twins are? One twin is named Grace. Another twin is named Mercy. And everywhere you go, you got Grace and Mercy that shall follow you all the days of your life. So God said, you already blessed. But can I tell you what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to add the stuff you think you want. If you put me first, come here, car. I'm going to add a car to you. Do you hear me? You think you want a house? All right. I'll give you a house. I'm going to add a house to you. You said I'm lonely and I need me a boo. You think you want a boo? Come here, boo. Come on, boo. I'm going to add a boo to you. You said, Lord, I need some money. Do you need some money? He said, come on, money. I'm going to add money to you. It's only an addition. But I hear him. I hear him saying in scripture, Moses said, Paul said, for God I live and for God I'll die. You can have this whole world. Give me Jesus. Yeah. Give me Jesus and I'll be satisfied. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, name and say, neighbor, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody tell them you already blessed.
blessed. You are already blessed. That ain't the right neighbor. Find you somebody else. Tell him you are already blessed. But tell him get ready, neighbor. He get ready to give you some additions. I tell you, pull those additions. Come on, get them. You think you want it? I'm getting ready to do it. You think you need it? I'm getting ready to do it. Your eyes have not seen. What the Lord I'm done But I just somebody start walking in additions That's what you call favor More is coming 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 How 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 you praise him for because more is coming better is coming increase is coming multiplication is coming oh I need somebody walk in it I'm already blessed but here comes some addition here comes some multiplication here comes some greater walk in it Wayman I dare you walk in it he gonna add to me he gonna add to me he gonna add to me seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these shall be added somebody praise him for the stuff he's getting ready I say, neighbor, I want you to praise God. Say, this is not for the stuff. But tell them this praise is a praise to let God know you are first. You are first in my life. He said, and if you praise me because I'm first. You won't have to beg me for nothing. But I'm going to blow your mind and bless you. Because you praise me. Because I'm first. Say neighbor, give me some room. I got to give God. Uh, He number one in my life. Praise. You ready?
praise him because he's God. You don't need the car. You don't need the house. You don't need the money. It's good to have. But I'm praising him because he's God. He's sovereign. He's holy. He's powerful. He's all-knowing. He's a God of increase. He's a God of multiplication. He does what he wants. When he wants. How he wants. With whom he wants. Praise him, Lady V. Time is up. My time is up. God bless you. The door of the church is open. Come on, preachers. Let's get back in practice. Uh oh. By June. By June. Come on. They're coming. Where my men at? They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Our whole family's coming. Come on, church. Our first Sunday, opening the physical door. God bless you, sir. Bless you, man. God bless you. Come on, church. Is there another? They're still coming. They're still coming. That's still coming, church. Where y'all at? I'm waiting on you. That's still coming. By June. By June. By June. If he didn't do it by June, he still got time. He ain't bound by no month. He can do it in July, August, September, October, November. December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, oh no, he still got time, 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 My sister running, y'all watch her. How? Hey. See, this is all we know. This is how we grew up. Praise him, my lady. We grew up this way. This is all we know. This is all we know. How? How? He still got time. Courtney. 
story. Just simply tell him he been good to Brandon Jacob. He been good. Praise him, Lady Hunt. He been good. He been good to me. I don't know why he loves me. I don't know why he cares. But I too much y'all don't let her. I know she excited from 7 a.m. they took her in they called me said Bishop she on her way out I called Elder P at 7 p.m. and said how sister Mia Cole she said Bishop she's still in there that was 10 days ago still Still got time. Still got time. She hit a day. Got time. You can look at the medical record. She showed me, Bishop, from seven, they took me back to midnight. They brought me. Y'all don't let her. Come on, it's 221. Let's go. And God protect you. Wait. Where Pastor Flanagan? He in the back. That man said to me, we're going home. Come on, stand. We're going home just like this. I didn't held you 11 minutes over my time. He said, Bishop, God's going to give us the city. They had, is Maywood Park this one? He told us when we got, he got here. The Lord had already told me. He said, Bishop, Maywood Park, what we used to call it. Martin Luther King Park is what it's called now. He said, God's going to give us that park. Two shootings was there last night. With some of our folks out there in the park. Where that park at? It's over here, right? But somebody parked to that, point to that park. Say, Lord, you told us that park belonged to us. Give us the victory in the name of Jesus. I rebuke murder. I rebuke shooting. I rebuke all time. I rebuke rape. I rebuke molestation. I rebuke everything that's not like God. I rebuke drug addicts and drug addiction and, and drug selling. They'll try to make a sell and it won't go through. Ha! Cover that part with your blood. And give us every soul that's in that part. I want you to lift your hands straight up. And I want you to declare this with me, New Zion Temple. There's not a building nowhere that can hold New Zion Temple. Oh, you better hear me. I need you to speak it. There's not a building nowhere that can hold.
can hold New Zion Temple. If you believe it, I need you to open your mouth and give God a shout. Not one location, not a building nowhere can hold no location. Anybody who stays, you stand because you want to. Lord, as we leave this place, cover us with your blood. Send your ministry warring angels and your guardians of protection around us. Keep us and protect us from all her harm and danger. Cover us with your blood. Help us get to our separate homes and destinations safe and sound. Don't forget to give your tithe, your offering, and your seat. If you're swiping, come to my right, your left. If you're giving cash at check or check of money order, you can give at the back door. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. He still got time. He still got time. Praise him, first lady.